Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So we're back again with some more Alliance War action and this season I am getting somewhat or somehow spared by my team for one reason or another and I don't have and I haven't been doing too many fights which uh, honestly I'm on a personal level kind of quite fine with because it just lets me save more loyalty. So uh, this is going to be war against D69 and then war against Salty. So I believe these are wars number seven and eight, if I'm not mistaken. And in this first one against D69, I do have one quite a scary fight because Gore can turn into a nasty, nasty fight. So I'm going to be using Hood actually in this war and the next one as well. So that is quite interesting there. But um, let's get to it then so i'm using magneto house facts which i la largely just placed pre-fights for my teammates and now i'm going to be going up against gore now for those of you who do not know uh, on defense gore is a very very scary guy <laughs> if you do not have like a very good mystic counter he's very hard to kill due to his regeneration and uh, on top of it he's also very dangerous to fight against because if he drops a medium in your block he <laughs> bad things can happen uh i think yesterday in incursions i was struggling with one gore in particular so much i had to like time out a couple of times and uh he hit my <laughs> block once and he plays like 60 six zero damage for time effect the point is that every time gore uses level one he gains all three of his shadow magic buffs and whilst those are active uh, obviously every time he um, finishes a combo with a medium or strikes your block he can inflict those damage or time effects over block so here i am using level two uh, basically taking away all of his buffs altogether fate sealing them but mystic dispersion pushed me all the way to three bars of power so i am going to be dropping that level three i probably should have down tuned my mystic dispersion here a little bit but again it's always a bit tricky delicate balance with these uh heavy buff champions to know exactly how much md you need and here uh my <laughs> bullets nearly expired there but we managed to refresh them but we can see that that regeneration is no joke that regeneration is keeping him healthy and topped up and at this point again if he would hit my block it would be very very bad <laughs> So here I decide to, uh, after the level 2, when it was safe to block, uh, block that level 2 again. Now I'm pushed again to a level 3, so I'm going to drop that level 3 here. And then I just need to basically drop in a heavy attack and finish the job. So I have 25, 21 bullets here. He's also bleeding from my level 3. Uh, and yeah, we're just going to heavy and that's going to finish the fight. But... We could see that even against the Mystic, for that moment when I didn't have my level 2 Fate Seal active, his region was just going completely mental. And then the next fight is going to be Mordo Miniboss here. I'm going to apply Magneto House Effects pre-fight. And this fight definitely did not go perfect, but <laughs> it's going to be fine. So here I fail the parry, obviously, as it's become custom that I drop a random heavy attack that could have hit me in the face. And uh, his power gain phase starts already. So this is pretty much as bad of a start of a Mordo fight as one could ask for and obviously Mordo is also conduit defender so up until such point as I get a neurotoxin on this guy I will be basically doing no damage regardless of how many debuffs I inflict on him and uh, here I go in for level one I get three poisons three I have three bleeds at the moment and I had zero neurotoxins then I drop a heavy attack and I had zero neurotoxins again and I finally get the first one where I can actually start some damage. Now at this point I have four but I opt out for missing yet another parry and uh, eat a few more hits. And here I kind of had a decision to make because he has a ton of power and I need to figure out what I'm going to do. And I decide just to basically eat a level three from Mordo, push him to those three bars of power in order to maintain as aggressive as I possibly can because I know that the single level 3 from Mordo will not finish me off, especially if there are no provinces involved. And now I have plenty of debuffs on the guy. And here we go. 
uh, he has bought new rows and I finished the fight shortly after. This is one of those situations, but especially against champions like Mordo, sometimes Hyperion, you just kind of need to make that decision knowing that, you know, a level 3 is not going to kill you. But if you try to bait out, for instance, that level 2 in the last minute, then number 1, there is no guarantee that you will succeed. Number 2, there's always like stuff like Mystic Dispersion or more power gain involved. And number three, you can make additional mistakes and eat a combo and then end up eating a level three. So I figured this would be like the best way kind of just push through. And we ended up winning this war um, quite convincingly, I believe. Or the very, no, actually, it was quite close, but we ended up winning this one. And now we are going up against Salty. In this war, I do have some more fights. I actually was doing the very, very last fights from my ball group after the boss was down. So I don't have to deal with Conduit. And um, I'm bringing in Magneto, the Hood again, and Nick Fury. Nick Fury is flesh freshly ranked 4. And here is what I mentioned before, where with the Hood, I was against Gore. I was all the time pushing myself to uh, level 3, and I didn't want that to happen. So I tuned down my Mystic Dispersion, not by a lot. I only tuned it down uh, to Mystic Dispersion 4. Which is, you know, fair enough. And uh, we're going to see that in several times here. It will not be quite enough. So I drop my level 2. But I do not get back up to another fresh one. And the plan is here basically just to spam my level 2. Get some bullets and then drop a heavy attack. But I end up getting parried. So luckily I did have that indestructible boost there. Which absorbed the majority of the damage. I'm at like 91% health here. And uh, at... I don't think maybe at this point yet, but very soon I could actually drop my heavy attack, maybe after one more uh, level two, but it doesn't look great for me as I got myself cornered. So this is definitely not the most beautiful or prettiest of the fights. So I'm trying just to get some distance, hit his block a bit. So I decide to push him to his level two as well. I do have like 30 um, bullets on the guy and I just drop a heavy attack there. And uh, yeah, the fight was over. Uh, at that exact moment when they exploded. So definitely not the prettiest fight. Um, but yeah, I kind of wish I just had Mystic Dispersion 5 in this fight, and then it would have been so much smoother, because I would go back to back level 2s and uh, just drop a heavy attack much, much, much quicker. Uh, but next, uh, I did have to adjust my mastery setups as well for a couple of these fights. I did put on Max Petrify or Superfy. Pacify. I think it's Pacify. Basically, where whilst opponents are stunned, their ability reduction is reduced by further 30%. So with Magneto's Magnetize, they have like zero ability accuracy, which is going to be very important, especially for my next fight. But here it is just a typical Magneto fight. You parry, you heavy, you parry, you heavy, you, you know, take those level ones or whatever on the block. I didn't particularly try to even bait those level ones. He was just very happy to throw them. And uh, when you get close to level 3, start doubling up on your prowess. And uh, level 3 is going to be basically overkill. I did, unfortunately, end up wasting one extra indestructible boost in this war. Because I had some connection issues and problems with fight loading. And my screen kind of went unresponsive. So I ended up having to restart the game and uh, do all that. And that basically kind of made sure that I end up using additional indestructible 3 boost because by the time the game was restarted, obviously the boost had expired. It's always just so annoying. But anyways, here I have 42 prowess. Darkhawk is already halfway down, but obviously this is very much so an absolute overkill. <laughs> I actually didn't notice how big of damage comes from this level 3. It was like 580,000 damage. So that, that was definitely a huge, 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 massive overkill level 3 there. Next up, we're going up against Penny Parker here on the Spite Rise to Power. And this is why that um, Pacify Mastery was so important. Because um, we can use that 100% ability accuracy reduction to bypass Spite. There will be one very weird thing in a sense here that I'm going to show a bit later. So first, I basically waited uh, until she's magnetized before I drop my first heavy attack. And we can see that now I have buffs, but she doesn't gain power from Spite, which is perfect. So now I just parry heavy all my way to level 3 and finish off the fight, right? Or so I thought anyways. I, In hindsight, 
I could have avoided what's about to happen, but we're going to see something quite weird. So I clearly have 30 buffs. You know, Spite is not active. She drops her level 2, and here I decide to dex it. But that precision buff, somehow, is the one that activates Spite, even though I already had buffs active. So it was kind of like a very weird moment, and at this point I'm like, ah, crap, now I have to deal with Spite because it's never going to go away, because my prowesses are never going to go away. Uh, luckily, I do have that Indestructible 3 boost, so she can drop her level 3 and I'll definitely survive it, but that could give me some problems with power management. But she threw her level 2 at the perfect time, and I did get to level 3, and, uh, well, the, at this point, the fight is over, so I dropped my level 3 with plenty of promise active. She's at 6%, but as soon as uh, the level 3 ends, the bleeds kill her pretty much immediately with a tick or two. And now we have Spider-Ham. I hate finding Spider-Ham in Alliance War because his animations are just so annoying and his AI sometimes can just absolutely refuse to throw special attack. I have had fights where I have Spider-Ham in the corner and he just doesn't throw a single special attack, level 1 or level 2, and I try to bait it to a point where I end up back in my corner and he still hasn't thrown special attack. So here with Nick Fury, I just employed a very simple strategy. Nuke him down, and don't care if he gets level 3. If he uses a level 3, fine. If he doesn't, don't care. Because it's obviously Nick Fury, I still had the entire second life. A single special 3 would not have killed me anyways. And by the time he got level 3, he was pretty much dead. So I didn't even bother trying to bait out special attack there. And we just nuked him down, and that was about it. And uh, yeah, quite happy with that. Unfortunately, though... Uh, we ended up losing this war. It was a very, very close war. It was uh, decided by one death. Uh, I think we lost three deaths to four deaths. We ended up losing, but we were winning on time. So had they died one more time, we would have tied them and then won on time. But unfortunately, that didn't happen. And uh, this is, what, our third loss in the season? So I think our record now is five wins, three losses. So slightly better than 50-50. So with this, we definitely uh, will not be making to the top three, I feel. And uh, still, we should be able to hopefully finish in Masters top 10 uh, if we kind of pull ourselves together. But this definitely is not like the best season for us as an alliance. And uh, there's always the next one, though. That being said, how are you guys doing in Alliance War? How have your season been so far? Have you guys been trying harder now that Alliance War Season rewards have been updated? Or you guys are still focusing on the loyalty stores and the rewards that you get from that? Let me know. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. See ya. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about the next 